President Trump outlining an ambitious economic agenda in his first address to Congress. I will be asking Congress to approve legislation that produces a $1 trillion investment in infrastructure of the United States, financed through both public and private capital, creating millions of new jobs. My economic team is developing historic tax reform that will reduce the tax rate on our companies so they can compete and thrive anywhere and with anyone. It will be a big, big cut. At the same time, we will provide massive tax relief for the middle class. All right, so here to break it all down, Chairman of Business and Finance at King's College in New York, Brian Brenberg. Nice to see you, Brian. Welcome back. Good to be here. All right, so you think last night was all about tone, light on specifics, more about tone. Yeah, he wanted to reset the tone. He wants to create a positive context to start having really significant, detailed conversations about infrastructure, about taxes, about health care. So he needed to reset the tone last night. That's where he poured all of his energy. That's where he spent all of his time, and I think he did that. Over the next two weeks now, you'll see him dig into some of these policy measures that he's raising because he has to put together a budget blueprint by March 16th, and that has to have some real hard numbers in it. So real hard numbers. One thing he mentioned last night, he talked about Harley Davidson, yeah. and he invited them to the White House. Yeah. He was actually going to go to their plant when uh, he found out that Democrats were going to basically protest him arriving at their plant. And they come to the White House instead. He talked about what the Harley Davidson folks said to him, which was amazing to me, that they, in order to sell some of their motorcycles, will have a 100% tax placed on their, on their exports of their motorcycles. I didn't see Democrats stand up and applaud trying to remove that. It sounded like they sat down and de who, would, who would support that 100% tax? Well, it is kind of funny. You, you saw Democrats throughout the speech in moments where he was talking about themes that should unify everybody. We want to put people back to work. We want to rebuild our economy. We want to get this thing growing. Time and again, you saw them sitting down, not standing up, not supporting policies that are good for all workers. There's a lot that he can do on trade in terms of making sure that other countries are playing by fair rules. We've got rules out there to play by. Um, but again, his focus there, I think, was actually on taxes and talking about how we need to bring down the corporate tax rate because that is killing U.S. businesses who are paying among the highest rates in the world. Right. It's hard for them to do business internationally. We're not protecting these workers. Something everyone should be applauding in that chamber, quite honestly. But the other thing he talked about was infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And he talked about, you know, we haven't had a big infrastructure movement in this country since uh, Dwight Eisenhower with the highway system. How much will that impact the economy? It's, it's an important long-term move. Infrastructure is very important for helping companies companies over the long term, create new jobs, create businesses, make investments. It's not really an effective short term stimulus. We saw this with Obama eight years ago. With shovel his ready. stimulus, Shovel ready right. jobs, they're just not as shovel ready as you think. So it's a good long term play if you do it right, if you make the right investments, not just the big ticket investments, but the fixing pothole investments and fixing the bridges investments. That's what he has to do. But we should look at it as a longer term play, not a short term play. Taxes and regulatory reform are going to be the shorter term play. All right, Brian Brenberg, nice to see you this morning. Good Thanks to be so here. much. Yep. All right.